four, six, eight. Separate for church and state. Two, four, six, eight. People want instant political gratification. The, the, the simple fact is that replacing a man dedicated to maintaining legal inequality for us, George Bush, with a man who is committed to almost full legal equality, not quite, he's not there on marriage, uh, makes an enormous difference. Uh, I think one of the first things that the Obama administration is going to do with regard to any community is look at their legislative struggles and look at where they are. And so for our community, we have passed a hate crimes bill through the House and the Senate by overwhelming margins. So common sense would dictate that the Obama administration would say we are likely to sign the hate crimes bill first. Pursuing a non-discrimination law federally and a hate crimes law federally in no way interfere with the marriage uh, fight which is at the state. So the answer is continue to push for marriage at the state level and to push for these legal uh, advances at the federal level. I think actually if we have marriage first that would help more with ENDA and Don't Ask, Don't Tell because um, I mean marriage not only does it have over a thousand legal rights associated with it but it really is a symbolic equality. So I think the fact that Obama has replaced Bush means that we will be able to pass at some point a repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell, so we get full legal equality in the military, a fully inclusive hate crimes bill, and I hope an inclusive employment non-discrimination bill, that fight we're still working on. The country is, you know, fair, pretty homophobic in general. We're more likely to get ENDA first, I think, out of, out of any of those. And perhaps it took the, the, you know, Proposition 8 and, and us losing Proposition 8 for it to uh, get raised to the specter that it has gotten raised to. If you're in a tough political fight against entrenched opposition, the better a tactic makes you feel, the less likely it is to have done you any good. You know, getting out and cheering and holding each other's hands and talking about how wonderful we are and how terrible they are, that's therapy, it's not politics. And uh, making political gains can be tough and it's, it's difficult and it requires discipline. Really, we're trying to urge people to come to that town hall meeting, which is where actual work will be done. Because these protests are nice and all of that, but they don't really get the work done. Hi, I have a chance in my pocket. Yes, thank you. And come. Uh, you know, you're open. There's been a lot of criticism since Prop 8 about sort of institutional uh, work versus grassroots activism. I think that. Um, I would love for the grassroots activism that we have seen since Proposition 8 passed to have been happening during the Proposition 8 fight. Um, we're going to go into the letter writing and lobbying portion of this thing. We, we got to have people come back on day two. It's fine to come out for this kind of an event and it blows off your steam and gets the anger out and all that, but day two the work starts. Whenever you're trying to deal with any anti-discrimination measure, whether it's the right of people like me to marry the people we love, whether it's based on race or age or physical or mental disability, there's almost always opposition at first by people who say, we're not prejudiced, but we're worried about the disruptive effect. And after the fact, if you are able to overcome that and get something passed, there's never any negative reaction. If we had tried to do marriage in Massachusetts politically in 2004, we would have lost. After it had been ordered by our state Supreme Court and was in effect for four years, it was overwhelmingly popular. With regard to California, I was sorry to learn of the timing because I am convinced if that decision had been this year and the referendum hadn't been until a year from now, there wouldn't have been a problem. It's impossible for people to uh, impute terrible things to something that's already happened when they aren't going to happen.